think you know everything. When you think, nothing surprises or amazes. We take all that you think you know. excited to have you today to share with us the next groundbreaking milestone in creative imaging technology. Over the past 10 years, DJI has been helping average people, you, me, anyone, answer the question, what kind of stories can I tell from the sky? If I could fly, how would that change my perception of the world? What would be new about it? Well, from the start, DJI has been setting new standards and milestones in aerial imaging technology to make it easy for you to get up in the sky and create. That includes introducing longer battery life in aerial platforms, long range video transmission systems so you can see what the camera's seeing in near real time even at great distances, stabilized three axis cameras so that you can keep a stable and smooth image while you're flying, a 4K camera designed specifically for the sky. Redundant sensors to give you an even more reliable flight experience. And finally, an intelligent vision system that provides obstacle avoidance and greater intelligent navigation. Now, all of these breakthroughs were driven by one single goal, empowering your creativity so that you can focus on capturing your vision, whether it's in the heart of a volcano or in your backyard, and then the system does pretty much everything else. Now, our focus on creativity and design, intuitive use, has really driven the mass adoption of aerial imaging. We estimate that in the last 12 months that there have been over 560 million photos and videos taken from the sky using our platforms. Now that sounds like a big number, but it actually re represents a 200% increase over the same period a year ago. So that just shows how quickly these tools are becoming commonplace. And our focus on simplicity has also made aerial imaging a truly global experience. We see photos and videos, amazing images being captured around the world from Hong Kong Island to Easter Island, from the Arctic Circle to the Falklands. And also we've made our platforms so versatile that they can be used by almost anybody for any purpose. So we see photographers and filmmakers, professionals and families all using our platforms to tell their story. We are incredibly proud to see the diversity and different types of use cases that our platforms actually enable. But we know that those moments of inspiration and creativity are fleeting. Sometimes you need portable, easy to access tools to tell your story in a specific way. That's why the most popular camera in the world is your smartphone. Just pull it out of your pocket and you're ready to capture your image. Earlier this month, we released the Osmo Mobile so that you can capture smooth, steady images using your smartphone so that it's like what you experience in those moments. It's intimate, it's simple, and it's a rich storytelling experience that's spontaneous. Today, we're taking that philosophy to the sky. We're gonna show you something revolutionary that's going to shorten the time between inspiration and creativity like never before. So you can capture those moments of inspiration whenever it strikes 
wherever you go. Now, what's so remarkable about these images isn't so much the, the quality of them, because many of us are used to seeing great aerial shots, but here up to a year ago, those sort of images could only be captured by large professional devices, ones that a highly skilled pilot could use or be quite expensive. But now I'm excited to tell you that that technology can effortlessly fit in this backpack but it's actually not in this backpack. <laughs> the technology that we've developed is actually, doesn't require dedicated carrying technology. It could be in your purse, your side bag. But personally, I like to just carry it on me. gentlemen, this is the DJI Mavic Pro. We have completely redesigned our drone technology so that you can capture your moments of inspiration whenever it strikes, wherever you go. We have completely changed our drone technology to make it as portable as possible. So you can fit it in almost any bag. Just put it in your bag, go and create. When we were designing the Mavic Pro. We wanted to make it as space efficient as possible. So we actually designed it to be about one third the size of a piece of paper and about the size and weight of something that you carry with you every day, like a bottle of water. So this is an extremely portable device. And actually, this little carrying case I have is designed for a bottle of water. So it was very handy. But just because we've shrunk the technology doesn't mean that we've left out all of the standards that DJI really believes is necessary for a great flight experience. That includes 27 minutes, up to 27 minutes of battery life, so you can capture your image while you're in the sky, get multiple shots. That includes additional sensors that provide intelligence while it's flying, so you can just focus on image creation. And so we have five cameras operating together to provide a powerful vision system that's telling Mavic Pro where it is in the world. We also have redundant sensors so that IMU GPS have redundancy to provide even more reliability in flight. And of course, we can't forget the camera. It has a 4K, 12 megapixel, three axis stabilized camera on board, so you get amazing shots. Now, all of this is powered by 24 computing cores that are operating in tandem to make an intelligent and effortless flight experience. Do you want to see how easy it is to get up in the air? Yeah. All right. So before I get it up in the air, I need a remote control. So actually, it's actually not in there either. It's right here in my back pocket. This is our smallest remote control device that we've ever created. We took design cues from mobile gaming devices to make sure that the profile is not only small, but intuitive. So it's easy to use, easy to get up in the air, and effortless to great, take great shots. Now you can also expand it to include a mo uh, mobile device and use our new OcuSync technology to pull down up to a 1080p signal from a communication distance of up to seven kilometers. So you'll be able to get a great live preview of your shot in very difficult RC environments. So I've got my transmitter, I've got my drone. Now I'm just gonna set it up to fly. As you can see, it just takes a few seconds to get it ready for flight. It's a small footprint, ready to go. So I'm gonna set it down and get ready to get up in the air, but I'm only gonna be flying a short distance and uh, I, I'm just gonna take a pretty simple shot. So I'm actually just going to control the entire thing using my smartphone. Using our new integrated Wi-Fi between Mavic 
and DJI Go, we have a simple and intuitive user interface that allows you to take those short instant pictures at short ranges. So I can effortlessly just get up in the air and get the shot that I want. So I'm simply going to tap to take off. And I'm going to get a little bit of altitude, fly it a little away from me, and angle the shot. So while it's doing this, I, I want to get a shot, but at the same time, I don't really want to talk to you, angle the shot, and control the camera, the drone at the same time. So I'm actually going to enter into the simplest user interface for aerial photography that's ever been created. It's called gesture control. So I'm just going to signal to Mavic to start following me. And as you can see, as I move around on stage, it's tracking me. It's an easy way to control the drone, but more importantly, it takes great pictures. One of the things I find so frustrating is I'm out in the world taking these great shots of me and my friends, but I'm always holding this giant transmitter or looking down at my phone. It doesn't feel spontaneous. It doesn't feel like how I experience the world. So now I simply go like this, and Mavic instantly recognizes that I want to take a picture. I don't know what to do with my hands anymore. So, <laughs> and it instantly takes a selfie after three seconds. So now I can exit gesture mode, tap to land. I have a great picture of myself that I can share to Facebook instantly. It's really that simple. So I, earlier I talked about the 24 computing cores on board Mavic, and that might sound intimidating or hard to use, but actually the intelligence on board is powering a lot of technology that makes the entire flight experience effortless. That means that not only can you use things like gesture control, but at any given moment, Mavic knows where it is, where it came from, and where it's going. Mavic Pro sees the world in 3D. It senses the obstacles around it so that it can intelligently navigate around them while flying in some of its intelligent flight modes. Or if I'm flying towards something, it will automatically stop and hover before it collides with an object. It also uses GPS, GLONASS, and visual positioning sensors to provide stable flight outdoors in windy conditions or in GPS-denied environments like this. Those two technologies, GPS and visual positioning, also power its knowledge of where it came from. Every time the Mavic takes off, it records its GPS location and a short video of the ground that it took off from. And as it does that, whenever you tell it to return home or the battery gets low or the connection signal breaks, it will fly back to the point that it launched from and match the video that it recorded to the ground underneath it. So you get centimeter precise landing capabilities. That also helps it avoid obstacles while landing, like water, so you get a st stable, reliable flight experience. And likewise, Mavic knows where, it's, knows where it's going. Our users use our technology out in the world, so they're climbing mountains and they're going over a wide variety of terrains, but you want to make sure that throughout those terrains, Mavic knows its relative altitude and it does that with our new terrain following system. So it knows when you're going up a mountain to stay 10 feet off the ground, even as the altitude climbs. It's a simple and intuitive device that provides a great flying experience. Now, all of that intelligence on board isn't just powering the reliability of the platform, but it's also enabling greater creative freedom in the shots that you take. One of the first things that people want to do when they get a drone is to film themselves or their friends out doing something amazing, tracking or running across country, you know, flying on a boat, driving in a car, anything exciting, because that's what's really cool about drone technology is it enables you to go and see anywhere. But a lot of those shots were very hard to do 
a long time ago. But with our active track following feature, all of those shots are as simple as tapping on your screen. With our active track system, you literally tap on the subject you want to film, and our deep learning algorithm recognizes cars, bikes, boats, pets, and will automatically start following them, keeping them perfectly aligned in the shot. And this isn't just about a GPS system blindly following a subject. It's actually using computer vision to track the subject and keep it perfectly framed in the shot so you get a beautiful image. With the Mavic Pro, we're introducing even more versatility into the active track function so you can get a wider variety of shots while you're up in the air. That includes trace, which follows directly behind the subject. And our new profile mode that tracks alongside the subject, getting a really dramatic shot. Circle, which orbits around the subject even while it's moving. And then my favorite, spotlight, which keeps the camera trained on the subject no matter what direction you fly. So you can get some really interesting creative images. Now, here's the Mavic Pro using Active Track out in the real world. We're going to use Trace here to follow the skateboarder. And as it does so, it's flying forward and it's using its obstacle avoidance cameras to intelligently navigate around the poles and trees and anything else that might get in, in the way of the shot. So there's a lot of power on board, but a lot of simplicity so you can just focus on getting the right image. So that's the Mavic Pro in motion, but sometimes you need a lot more precision in the control of your drone. So that's why we've introduced tripod mode. Tripod mode decreases the maximum speed and reduces stick control so that you can precisely frame your shot or navigate in tight areas. Sometimes having that stillness allows you to get a lot more smooth movements in your video or a lot more precision in the photos that you take. It's a simple but very intuitive way to be creative with your drone. So those are some of the key features of the Mavic Pro, but when we're talking about creativity and innovation, it doesn't start and end with image making. A lot of us, and many of you that I, I recognize here in the crowd, got first excited about drone technology because it's so fun to fly. What an exhilarating feeling to get up in the air and get a drone up in, to speed. And that's part of the excitement around the drone racing industry is that there's something really re remarkable about it. We want to share that feeling with people because a lot of us, you know, that, that feeling of the joy of flight is really driving a lot of the innovation in the drone space. So with the Mavic Pro, I'm excited to share that we're including sports mode. Let's take a look. Yeah, it is so much fun to fly. <laughs> and with sports mode, the system can reach up to 40.6 miles per hour, and yet at the same time have a lot of sensitivity in the control so that you can turn on a dime. It turns off the obstacle avoidance sensors so it can get a, a faster speed and its angle. But at the same time, it's still using GPS, GLONASS, and visual positioning sensors, so you can let go of the controls and the system will simply hover. This allows you to really get that immersive flight feeling. But if you're going to fly, we want you to really feel the experience of flying. And that's why we're introducing a new immersive flight experience with the DJI goggles. The DJI Goggles is an amazing flight experience that allows you to see two 1080p displays and a wide 85 degree field of view. So you feel wrapped inside the cockpit of a drone that's flying fast. And what's more is it's wirelessly pulling down an HD signal from up to seven kilometers away using DJI's OcuSync technology. And that's all very cool, but here's actually my favorite part. 
is you can share this experience with your friends by binding two DJI goggles to one Mavic Pro. So you and your friends can both experience the thrill of racing at the same time. It's a phenomenal experience and we can't wait for you to try it. So with the Mavic Pro, you have a 4K camera, 12 megapixel stills, a three axis stabilized camera in a small, easy to use platform. It's intelligent. It uses obstacle avoidance to give you a lot more confidence in flight. It allows you to track subjects to create even more creative freedom while you're in the air. And it also uses gesture control, so you have the simplest interface for aerial photography that we've ever created. We can't wait for you to get your hands on it, so starting today, you'll be able to pre-order the Mavic Pro. And it will be shipping and available in stores starting in the middle of October. And for those of you who want to go into a store, ask a knowledgeable uh, employee about the, the, the Mavic Pro, we'll be launching an experience in Apple stores around the globe on November 2nd, so you can come in, see the technology, and ask the knowledgeable staff at Apple all about the Mavic Pro and how great it is. When we talked about accessibility, it's not just about getting the technology in your hands and making it easy to use. It's also making sure that people can actually get it. So that's why I'm excited to share that Mavic Pro will be available starting from $749. At seven, yeah. At $749, you'll get the Mavic Pro by itself, and you'll be able to control using the simple DJI GO interface and gesture control. For longer range flight and more control of the system, you can have it bundled together with a remote control at $999. And finally, we'll be including a bundle called Fly More that includes a carrying case, two batteries, extra propellers, a car charger, and a charging hub, all for $1,299. It's a great value, and it's gonna allow you to get up in the air and take some amazing shots. We cannot wait to see what stories you create with the Mavic Pro. There's so much creative freedom in, on board this system that's gonna really allow you to go amazing places and tell great stories. And to show you a little bit about what that actually looks like in the real world, I'd like to invite two friends to come up and share their experience using the Mavic Pro in the real world and also put it through its paces here on stage. I'd like to invite up John Olson and I, Justine. So this is the new DJI Mavic. We have been able to test it for the last couple weeks and we need to show you guys what the future of drones look like. I mean, for us that shoots drones as much as we can, being able to set them up quickly, for them not to take any space, that is key. So instead of talking about it, we're gonna head up, um, go for a hike, and show you guys what kind of footage this thing can deliver. It's sick. to the top of this mountain with this drone or should I maybe say drones if I told you that there would be two DJI Mavics in here will you guys believe me one and two and since Marcus is better than me at flying he always flies and he gets better and I get to stand there and he's having all the fun <laughs> but those days are over because now we can bring this and bring two drones let's just enjoy the sunset 
fly drones. I mean, can you believe that the stuff we just shot all fits in this bag? To me, that is just the future is here. So I want to be able to show you as well. I mean, you see the size of this bag. And when I open this up, I actually realized that someone put a Osmo Mobile in there because there was just too much space in the bag for the drone. But we're not going to talk about that now. We are going to get this thing in the air. So I'm going to start with just powering this up. And what I love about it is how quickly you just fold the arms out and you don't need to put the propellers on. So four seconds and you're ready to fly. You remove the little dome there and we're gonna put that there. And when you have this bag, we actually are able to fit a, an extra battery in here. Cause I mean, when you walk around with the small bag, it's great to have a battery. But you actually fit a second battery in there as well. And a third one. And a fourth battery. I mean, to me, the fact that you can fit all this in that is just unbelievable. So as you can see, it's also crazy how stable this thing is indoor. And the fact that you can just hover it without you know, any movement is, to me, crazy and being able to use it in every different situation is just simply amazing and I mean we are indoors you guys realize how stable it is here and that is one of the key things I think is the coolest thing about this drone and if I walk now backwards uh, this is now in trace mode so if I walk this way it is fully following me automatically without anyone touching anything and if I now stand here, we switch to profile mode and I walk back and the thing follows me back again. And I think the cool thing is that when we're here at a presentation, we are not showing a drone. We're actually flying a drone. And then the third mode that is really cool is the spotlight mode, which makes the drone point towards me the whole time. And you can just fly the drone around full speed the whole time, which I think personally is a really cool feature. And as we go ahead and land the drone, I want to kind of talk a little bit about my experience with drones in the past. Um, I've been a pro skier for the last 20 years. And being a pro skier means that I've competed at the X Games where I've been able to collect nine X Games medals. And we've shot ski movies. Uh, I remember the first ski movies we shot, it was with a 16 millimeter film camera. Um, we would rent helicopters and pay a fortune to get the aerial shots. So we would get the helicopter, take the doors off the helicopter, strap a friend in with a harness that would hang out the window with a camera. And going from that, getting the shots, I mean, paying a fortune to get those shots. Then five years ago, being able to hold, um, to have a drone crew come in and shoot those similar shots. I guess five years ago, you'd get probably 30% of the time, you'd get yourself in the frame because drones were that new. And then two, three years ago, the drone crew started getting really good, so they were able to really get cool stuff. And then a couple years ago, you could have your buddy bring a Phantom and you'd get shots on the mountain without having a drone crew. Then this year, I got the Phantom 4 and I was able to travel the world and get shots myself. I never thought that I would be skilled enough to fly a drone and then trying out the Phantom, I was like, I can actually do this. Now we've all moved all the way to the fact that I can go up a mountain and go skiing, put the drone in my pocket, go to the top, put it in a trace mode, 
and shoot the same thing as I used to be able, or that I had to um, rent a helicopter for. So for me, this has really changed everything I do. And since we shoot a daily vlog, we've shot, me and Marcus sitting over there, we've shot a daily vlog for the last 165 days, meaning that we have a drone in our backpack every single day. So having a drone of this size, it really changes everything we do. And since we travel the world, we go to all these amazing places and we get to see the coolest things. The problem, however, is that Marcus is a much better pilot than me. So whenever we have a beautiful sunset, anything cool going on, we see a dolphin, you know, I'm like, here, Marcus, take the drone. You got to get the shot. Now we are able to bring two drones in a carry-on bag and they would probably get lost in the carry-on bag because they're so small. But that means that us having two drones means that two buddies can go out and fly and get amazing shots instead of having one person having all the fun. So with that said, I mean, I'm coming from a background of extreme sports and I love to jump off cliffs and do everything that you can do that's extreme. That really pushes me. But a couple days ago, I was also introduced to a person that can use the drone, or the, they use the drone in a more everyday life type of way, shooting everything you do on a normal day-to-day -day basis. And I think it's time for us to introduce I Justine coming to you live from somewhere within the building. Hey everyone, I'm Justine, and I am pretty much the farthest thing possible from an extreme sports athlete as you can get. But what I've been doing for the past 10 years is creating YouTube videos. And for me, creating content about video games, technology, and travel, and everyday life things, for me, trying to find a new perspective and a way to make those entertaining and engaging has pretty much been a challenge until now. With the DJI Mavic Pro, I am able to take this thing absolutely everywhere. Now, while it might look like I'm hanging off the side of a cliff, I'm not. But I did get a chance to check out the Mavic Pro this past week, and now I'm going to show you guys a video that I made with me and my sister and all the fun that we had with the drone. Let's check it out. So guess what? We just got the DJI Mavic. It's DJI's new drone. This thing is so small, so compact, and so amazing, we can basically take it anywhere. So today, we're gonna go do some really fun stuff. Are you ready? I am. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go kayaking so I can pilot the drone and Jenna can paddle. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to go to the beach? I'd like to go to the beach. Do you want to I'd play like basketball? To, I'd like to... <gasps> I'm going to try to fly the drone while I'm playing basketball. You can't even play basketball. You ain't got ups, girl. <laughs> what? Guess we're going to find out. Time to try out the Mavic here at the trampoline park. Oh, this is gonna be great! The best part is I'm not even using the controller, I'm using my iPhone to control. That's the DJI Mavic. I hope you guys love it as much as I do because pretty much this thing is gonna change my life. I hope it changes yours too. Bye.
Please welcome content creator I Justine. I'm Justine, and like I said earlier, I've been making YouTube videos for the past 10 years, and I've seen so many things in the past 10 years as far as technology goes, and I always love trying to be the first one that gets a hold of these things and, and see what they're really like. And for my audience, you know, they're, they're expecting me to do cool things every day, and it's kind of hard to find things that are fun and entertaining and engaging. That's also hard when I'm editing and shooting and doing it all myself. So usually, I am lugging around suitcases full of equipment to make all of this happen, but now, this is my actual purse. This is what I carry with me every day. And now, I have a drone in my purse. Like, this is something that I never really thought would be possible. And I you know, was always intimidated by drones for the past three years when I first started getting into them. I had the DJI Phantom, and then I got the Phantom 4, and now this is gonna completely change everything. You know, I think the first step is actually trying it and seeing how easy it is to fly. And as soon as I sent this thing up in the air, I was like, this is incredible. And anybody, especially who plays video games, holding that controller in your hands, it's basically like you're sitting in front of your console and playing a game. But for me, this is, really is going to change everything. It's super simple, and trying to create and capture things on the go is now possible, especially with the DJI Go app, because you can be out at a picnic, you can be doing the things that me and my sister did. We did all of that stuff in one day, and normally that would take a few days, especially with the editing time. But I can post it instantly, I can stream it live on the internet, I could be posting tweets and everything right from the air, which before, that was never possible. But now there's no excuse because we would always have to plan those days where we're gonna go fly the drone. But now, it's basically never gonna leave my purse. So for me, this is definitely gonna change my life. And I hope that it will change yours as well. Thank you. That was awesome. Please give it up for I, Justine, and John Olson. Fantastic. We're so inspired by the way that people use our technology. And when we start thinking about accessories, we're trying to develop a suite of tools that make it easier for you to get up in the air and capture more videos, exactly the right videos that you want to create. That's why in the weeks following the release of the Mavic Pro, we'll be offering a carrying case, extra batteries, propellers, a charging hub so you can charge multiple batteries at the same time, a car charger so you can charge your batteries on the go, this is actually my favorite, an adapter so you can use the Mavic Pro's batteries to charge your smart device while you're out in the field. And then, of course, the DJI goggles, which are fantastic. And then, in addition to the uh, accessories, we'll also be offering DJI Care. Using DJI Care, over 10,000 customers over the past six months have extended their warranty period for the DJI products, allowing them to fly with even more confidence. And this, this uh, care coverage will also be included and expanded for the Mavic Pro. Now, enabling your creativity is not just about the hardware or the additional peripherals that we sell, it's really about the technology itself. Because you're connecting to the Mavic Pro using your smart device, you're able to use internet connectivity to do a wide variety of things, including sharing, learning, and creating in new ways. All of this is really powered, first and foremost, by the DJI Go app. Using the DJI Go app, you're able to edit and share videos instantly. Let me show you a little bit of how this works. Many of you already have this on board, but we have the DJI editor right after equipment. And every time you shoot footage using the DJI Go products, you actually see all of the original footage cached live on your phone. You don't have to use an SD card. It's already stored directly on your smart device. Yesterday, a few of us were out flying in Brooklyn testing out the Mavic Pro. And we used uh, the Mavic Pro to shoot some really great shots. So I'm going to show you a few of the, my favorite clips that I just edited or I just clipped out together. So I just select, select my favorite clips, hit create movie, and all of a sudden there's a movie ready to, to be shown. You can select the soundtrack. Uh, you, I could choose my own music, but I already like this one, Glory Days, which has a really 
classic Brooklyn style and sound. But more importantly, I can also choose the way that this music interacts with the video. Just hitting smart edit, it syncs the video to the music. So rather than long clips that don't match, automatically you have a great video that's ready to share to whatever social platform you want. Instagram, Facebook, whatever. It's a powerful tool and we love it. And we think that it enables a lot of amazing creativity with our products. But more than just being able to capture and share videos after the fact, you can actually share the moments of creativity while they're happening. Using Facebook Live and also live streaming to YouTube, you're able to share your moments as they happen. Talk to your friends across the world and see their reactions, their likes, their comments, and you can actually verbally respond to them using the microphone on your smart device. It makes a spontaneous, creative moment even more special. Mavic Pro is also using the internet to provide a lot more information about your flight environment. One of the first challenges in getting up in the air is asking, answering the question, where can I fly? And one of the things that uh, the Mavic Pro does is it warns you when you're flying close to any place where there's regulatory or safety concerns, um, such as airports or temporary flight restrictions like wildfires. These key points of information are vital to making you fly confident that you're flying safely and securely. And finally, the Mavic Pro is enabled using DJI's software development kit. That means that anybody with a creative vision for the future of drone technology can build an app specifically for our platforms. And we see a wide variety of uh, versions of this, whether it's autonomous follow features in Lychee or autopilot. Epson is developing Moverio goggle uh, applications specifically for this for augmented reality drone experiences. And our partners like Drone Deploy and Precision Hawk are using the SDK to create apps that really expand the commercial potential for drones. Getting this technology into your hands and making it even more versatile is going to fundamentally change the way you think about drone technology. We are so excited about the DJI Mavic Pro. We think that it's fundamentally going to change the way that you capture and experience the world around you, letting you really understand what a perception shift the ability to fly really enables. So with this, we've created a small, portable, easy to use device that allows you to capture the moments when inspiration strikes wherever you go. So we're gonna wrap things up here with a video showing some of the key features of the Mavic Pro out in the real world. And as the video is playing, we'd like you to come up, see the products firsthand for yourself, try out the DJI goggles because they're awesome. And then thank you very much for coming out and thank you for tuning in online. Thanks everybody. sound crazy, but you can do this too. All of it. It's easy. How do we know? Because we've made it easy. At DJI, we created the flying camera as you know it. And there's a good chance that the drone videos you've seen online were shot with one of our cameras. This time, we started small, so you can dream big. We created your first personal drone, but we're still squeezing in big power. It automatically follows you or whatever you want without a bracelet or tracker, avoids obstacles, and comes packed with a 4K stabilized camera, 27 minute flight time, and a whole lot more. This is the DJI Mavic Pro, and this is the DJI Mavic Pro Unfolded. To make it this small, we had to rip out a ton of cool stuff, right? No, it's got 24 high performance computing cores, dual satellite connectivity, an all-new transmission system with a 4.3-mile range, four vision sensors, and more. Sound complicated? It's not. It's easy. The Mavic knows where it takes off from, where it is in the air, where it's going, and what it's capturing. 
When you take off, the Mavic uses two vision sensors and connects with up to 20 satellites, all so it can remember your location. This means the Mavic knows where home is, so it can return by itself. Precision landing technology means it can land almost exactly where you took off, at the touch of a button. As you fly, satellite systems keep track of you, working in harmony with all four vision sensors, telling it what's below and what's in front. Whether you are flying beside a cliff, in a forest, or even indoors. Just like you, Mavic sees and thinks. That means it can avoid the things in its path, from trees to walls. Any good flying camera needs stabilization. The Mavic's expertly miniaturized gimbal keeps the entire camera steady. Unlike electronic stabilization, you use every pixel from the sensor, and you don't have the weight of a bulky add-on camera. Shooting an epic tracking shot of a friend is easy. Active track technology means it just takes a few taps. Not just one kind of tracking shot either. It's got spotlight, profile, and trace. Or use tap fly to tap and fly. Terrain follow mode keeps the Mavic at a height you define as the ground rises. So you can focus on your shot, not your height. Everything can be controlled using a game pad sized controller you can keep in your pocket. It opens up to clamp around your phone and has been custom engineered to give you more feedback and more accuracy. You will always feel in control. If you don't want to bother with the controller, fly using virtual joysticks right from your phone over Wi-Fi. Whether you fly with the remote controller or just your phone, active track modes are ready to make you shoot like a pro. Want to be on camera, not behind it? It just takes a wave and a gesture. Then there's the new DJI goggle. Strap these on to really feel like you're flying. Combine them with sport mode to get your pulse pumping while you fly at an incredible 40 miles per hour. Once you've got your shots, edit everything together in DJI Go and share or even stream your flight live to Facebook or YouTube. Inspiration can strike from the smallest thing, a sketch, a feeling, an experience. The Mavic has been designed for you to take it anywhere, ready at a moment's notice, whenever inspiration strikes you to create something truly great. DJI Mavic, wherever you go.